out in the Gulf Stream, just a few miles off the Florida coast. Lenny and Morose pulls in his haul, dumps his catch, and takes a peek. Now you can see real aliens. Morose is a neurobiologist on a quest to map the genomic blueprint of fragile marine creatures in real time so he can see which genes switch on and off. We cannot regenerate our brain. We cannot regenerate our spinal cord. We cannot efficiently heal wounds without scars. And some animals do it in two and a half hours. They did it. We need to know how they do it. The Associated Press was invited on the boat to see this shipping container turned floating lab. It houses a state-of-the-art genomic sequencing machine. The biggest challenge is like trying to um, move around the lab and pipette and everything. After Moreau's and his team dive for their samples and document each species found, Under microscopes, they're definitely beautiful. they process samples of genetic material to be tested. The genetic data is beamed to a supercomputer at the University of Florida, which analyzes the results, then beams it back to the sea lab a few hours later. On this trip, they're studying comb jellies. Little is known about these fragile, translucent creatures, but they have an amazing ability to regenerate. I work on these things that are kind of like jellyfish, but they're not jellyfish at all. And then I take out their brain, and then it grows back. And then I try to figure out how it grows back. Watch the center of this time-lapse video. It shows a cut shrinking in size and eventually it will heal without scars. The work could eventually help researchers know which molecules to look at in human regeneration medicine, like spinal cord or a traumatic brain injury. If it's not enough reason to go to the sea, I don't know another one. Rose hopes to take on the ship gene mapping around the world and into areas where it's hard to preserve animals for study. Suzette LeBoy, Associated Press.